That's why we have Q. Curses. Foiled, I guess. Remember how we had mages and dragons? Would it surprise you to know that we have roughly the same number of mages and dragons left? But here's the important part for, for Jibs in this fight. His units are not upgraded well enough to fire against the dragons. The, his, like his, his ground units, these guys, they just don't have the upgrades. And Flame Strike does such a low percentage, it's almost 10%. If. It's not even 10% of their uh, Flame Strike does that much to a dragon's hit points. So all he really has are these dragons. Now, here's a problem with that. These dragons by Slammer 4 are almost perfectly upgraded. They're plus 3, plus 5. These dragons have a little more damage, but not as much armor. And there's more mages on the side of Slammer 4. And really, the dragons are the only thing that are doing damage. So, Slammer 4 is doing two things in this fight. It's a little hard to see at the moment. But he's doing two things in this fight. The first thing he's doing is taking care of the mages. Look at this. Look at the effort he's putting in to shoot down the individual mages and to shoot down individual dragons. The dragons uh, can be targeted because they're the o literally the only thing that is allowing Jibs to keep this fight. This is a long fight. It's not this a long fight I've actually seen. But look. The dragons are the only thing that Jibs has that actually does substantial damage against Slammer 4's own dragons. If not for that, he can't be in this fight. And as he's running out of heal and he's running out of dragon hit points and he retreats, that's why he loses this fight. He cannot fight with his rifleman and mages. They're just not effective enough. Now look at this. Solid win, solid fight, and yet... Le problemo for Slammer 4. He has heal. Not much, but he has some heals. But he can't raid this base. The only thing he has to worry about are the watchtowers and the dragons. He has enough heals to compensate for everything else. But he cannot take that base. Even if he can't just take it out, even if he wanted to. Meanwhile, over here, tried to set up a fifth base while it was going on. Jib's doing an excellent job of keeping the economy under control. And I like the addition of a couple of soldiers. They're just good raiding units in general. And as we said, they also go to town on the mages. Now, that fight was very, 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 very effective for Slammer 4. Like, stupidly effective. Let's look. Plus 3, plus 5. So nearly done there. It's full mage tech. Good. His opponent is still down in infantry upgrades. Still good. He has more production facilities. Look at that. He's gone crazy. He has five dragons lairs. I mean, come on, man. That's that is absolutely insane. And we're gonna speed this up. Look at but this is the problem. Did you see that? Remember this? When Slammer 4 was coming over and attacking here, and he could not get through it? because Jibs was given enough time by virtue of his stack defense to get his slower army over there. We're going to see this happen a couple more times. Yeah. As we're coming up on the 20 minute mark. Now, here's the difference. Also, remember, Dragon Mage is, I think, with a couple soldiers, is the best army. Or as a... For that... It, it certainly looks very... Okay, maybe not the best, but I'd put it as a strong contender because I can't think of anything stronger right now. And he will win all of the open ground fights, but he's not going to win these fights where he engages into his opponent because he gets too much time. And this is all good news for Jibs. Why? Because this upgrades. The longer this game goes on, the more of the benefit it is for Jibs, who was not emphasizing dragons, to have his opponent emphasize dragons. And we're going to see also that Dragon Mage has another weak point, and that it is the mages themselves, in addition to cost. Mages don't have a lot of hit points. Just, just, 
they don't. They have the same as riflemen, but they're much more critical to this army than riflemen are to this army. This army right here, eh, you lose a couple riflemen, you're fine. But you lose an equivalent number of mages, that's all bad for Slammer 4. The other thing too is that Slammer 4's army might be much more efficient, but it doesn't have the option of being less efficient and being viable. Each one of these dragons is 250 gold apiece. Each mage is 125 gold apiece. The upgrades for the mages total, that's 200 gold. The upgrades for the dragons are separate from upgrades for the forge. So the mages actually can't contribute anything but their spells for the dragons, and yet they're the essential part of the army. Ah, I killed a dragon. See, look at that. Bought enough time. Runs away. Mm -hmm. Now, Jibs is doing a couple of good things uh, to keep this game on balance. First off, look how late in the game we are. First, is, uh, first base is mined out. Natural is mined out. And is that the third or is this the third? That's the third. Third base still has a little bit to go for it. But every loss for Slammer 4, if he wins barely, even if he wins decisively but loses some mages, that's money that he can't replace because in a sense those units are irreplaceable. I mean every unit that dies is, is irreplaceable. Like You would love for all of your units to live forever. But as we said, riflemen don't mean too much for jibs. That doesn't mean he wants all of them to get hit by a flame strike and die. But they just just don't matter that much for jibs. It's okay. And here's the benefit that jibs has that Slammer 4 does not. These soldiers are going to go over here and try and wreck this. Good, good harassment. A couple towers like jibs put down, even for all of their upgrades, will be enough to stop... Uh, the dragons from getting in and they won't stop them by themselves but it'll buy him enough time this tower cannot buy J uh, slammer for a time because this army this does damage much more quickly it doesn't do as it will lose to dragon mage by efficiency but it's not going to do enough damage to make up uh, it'll rather scratch that it's not going to win against dragon mage because dragons can be healed and the mages can flame strike to force the, the riflemen out of position. But it is much faster. I know that sounds weird, but your army is limited. In this case, Jibs can go where he wants with this army. And it was independent of where he went. Oh, nice. This is so good. And it's independent of where he went with his dragons. The dragons have to be with the mages for Slammer 4. Even though his fastest units have the most movement speed, he can't afford to leave them separate. Look at this. This is going to be just what I was saying. Oh, look at the flame strike. Look at the healing. Healing? No, I guess not. Every unit... This army is going to win by a lot. And it's not really going to be on the vibe of closeness. And that is actually fine for Jibs. Because he took out the economy here. And because the dragons have to be with the mages, he's taking out this economy here. By the way, plus three, plus four soldiers, they're going to wreck that. It's going to get destroyed. He can't be in two places at once. So even though he's losing some mages and all of these riflemen, we go over to R. Oh, he's not making it right now. Is he maxed out? Oh no, he's paying attention over here, I think. Yeah, we'll see it. We'll see a round of him making units. But every the resources for Slammer 4 aren't favored even in a fight like this. In a fight even where it's by all standards a complete route. That's mana. That's being spent on these mages. That's also damage that these mages took. And as the game gets into its super, super late phase, which we're getting into now, 
the benefit of jibs, of having infantry and being able to move units around like this, is going to out... I don't know if it outweighs in all scenarios, but in this scenario it outweighs the benefit of having the strongest army. Because look at the mined gold. He poked a couple units here, took out some, he's taking out more now. He went over here with some dragons and killed a couple of these. Went over with his whole army and killed this worker line. We go over to Q. There's only 15 workers alive for Slammer 4. He has to ramp up the production for those. And when he has to ramp up the production for those units, he's not on three base economy despite having three bases. He's like on one and a half bases economy. Whereas Jibs is full on one, nearly full on two, definitely full on this one. So it's 2.5 base economy versus one-ish base economy for Slammer 4. And Jibs is able to take advantage of his army moving, uh, able to split. As we're getting into the super late game, this is starting to matter. These dragon numbers, yeah, each dragon is five. So that's 45 supply and dragons and another 12 there. This is 57 army supply for uh, Slammer 4. But there's a problem. Every unit that he loses is so expensive that in a low economy situation like this, where he's struggling to get back on full saturation, he can't make half of a dragon or a part of a mage. Whereas Jibs is able to recreate. Oh, nice. Jibs is able to recreate his army. By virtue of, oh, well, I don't need a dragon. I need three riflemen. He goes from being able to produce three riflemen, 210 gold, close enough for our purposes, to a dragon, to I can only produce one and a half to two riflemen? Nah, yeah, that's fine. Now look at this. This fight is also exceedingly in Jibs' favor. And here is why. Look at this soldier putting in work. Every mage that is killed at this stage of the game makes dragons that much less effective. Yes, the dragons have good upgrades, but Jibs' infantry are starting to have good, pretty good upgrades. And when they're on equal upgrades and there aren't there isn't a high mage count, Jibs can just tr trade two Maybe even three riflemen for a dragon. And it's completely worth it in his favor because in an end game, low money, low economy situation, he is going to be fine. Look at the brilliant defense that Jibs has here. Like, we're going to we're gonna see this. Look at all these mages. There, he has five mages and all low, low, low health. And yet Jibs is creating soldiers. Huh. Jibs is correctly identified. No, look, he has heal on these mages, and they have five, they have almost full upgrades, and he's able to stall out these dragons, which is to his favor. As long as he has mana, he can stall out the dragons and the mages aren't participating. Meanwhile, look at all of these mages. That could be one or two shot. And it is totally, totally, totally in Jibs' favor to take out not the dragons, the dragons are big and the dragons are scary. The dragons take up a lot of area and they look threatening and they fly around and it can seem intimidating. But if you're going against dragon mage, maybe with a few extra soldiers or so or a tower sprinkled in, the scary part of the army is not and cannot be the dragons.